So this video is if maybe you shot an interview or shot a clip and your footage isn't as bright as you hoped it would be. Maybe you wanted your subject's face to be a little bit brighter. Um, for warning, this video uh, really only helps if your subject isn't moving that much. If your subject is moving a lot, you have to do a lot of extra work. So this video is for definitely more sit down interviews or you know maybe like in this video, the subject is working on um, his homework. Uh, no, our first thing we're going to want to do, uh, this isn't what you're going to do, but this is what you'd probably want to do um, when you first get in. You're going to go in and play with the exposure, you're going to play with the contrast, you're going to play with the highlights and shadows, but as you can see, that's applying to most of the area, um, not just the area we want to work at. Let's say we really want to get the subject's face. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go over here to effects, look up our... Metri. There we go. This right here, we're going to drag it. I've, so I'm self-taught. I always say Lumetri color. I've never heard it been called different. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but we're going to drag that over here. We're going to put that on our clip and we're going to go over to effect controls. Now you're going to go down and you're going to see, oh, we have two. This one was our first one we were working on and now we have a second one. So let's make this a little bigger so we can see what we're doing. So what we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to mask. And what we're going to do is I usually just start with a polygon mask or a um, ellipse mask. Polygon mask will probably be just easy for me right here just to pull up um, kind of how this is going to look. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to make a mask around, let's say we wanted our whole subject's head here. We're gonna bring it in just a little, um, not straight up to the edge. And I'm gonna show you why here in a minute. Um, let's cover some of that orange area that we don't want to light up. So yeah, this area looks like something we kinda of wanna light up on, on our subject here. So what we're gonna do in this is we're going to increase that feather quite a bit. And you can see, look at that, the feather um, not really touching the background that much, but definitely covering the face. Um, so we have our mask feather about 85% here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go down into basic correction. And we can either go with um, exposure or shadows. But what we're going to do here is we're going to do um, a little bit of both. Let's bring up that exposure a little bit. Now let's not do it enough that it makes our clip ugly, but this is for simple quick fixes so you don't have to go back and do it. Um, obviously, probably going to want to pull this off his black shirt, but as you can see, just by increasing that, <laughs> a little too bright there, just by increasing it a little, we've added that illusion of having that light there. So let's, um, now as you can see, the subject's moving a little bit. It doesn't help that much. Uh, if it's more of a sit-down interview, that can work pretty well. Uh, we can also increase the map, increase the mask feather on it. Um, again, this doesn't work for all the time. This works really well. Um, for example, if I shot a sign and I wanted the blue sky in the background, then I could go in. Uh, it definitely works different with the camera you're shooting and uh, the range your camera has and all those other things. But these, this is just a very quick video of a simple fix that you can use to to maybe just correct that little clip. Um, that you think the lighting might be off on, um, maybe fix a certain spot um, on the clip. So hope that helps. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.